Donald Sterling, owner of the Los Angeles Clippers, is in trouble for racist comments caught on film by a female friend. The problem with these racist comments is that he's made these three times before. Many people are weighing in on this half billion dollar franchise, including USD students and basketball players. My name is Austin Jacobs. I'm a junior at the University of San Diego, finance and marketing, and I also work in the athletic department. As far as Donald Sterling goes, I think it's absolutely ridiculous that that kind of bigotry still exists in the U.S., especially for someone of such power and prestige, such as himself, who's an owner of a basketball team who deals with different people of diversity and racial ethnicities on a daily basis. I was absolutely shocked when I heard that that kind of language still exists, especially in that sphere, and I think it, the NBA was completely right in banning him from everything that they could. Hello, my name is Tuda. I play for the men's basketball team, and uh, I'm going to talk about Donald Sterling, ex-owner of the uh, Los Angeles Clippers, which got uh, fired because of uh, his racial announcements. And I think uh, he's a, he's a, his ex was uh, really stupid because uh, he told Hall of Famer Magic Johnson to not come on his games, which was not really smart, and uh, NBA reacted pretty well about it. And uh, He's not over, so that was a good decision. Hi, I'm Gito. I'm from the men's basketball team, and I was personally offended by what Donald Sterling said, and I'm glad that he's banned from the NBA for the rest of his life, because I will not want to associate myself with anyone that said the things that he said.